And this week's fishing tips, Ray and Manny go over some soft plastic baits to try out with fall fishing season right around the corner. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about soft plastics. And if you think it's confusing picking out line and weights, there are so many selections now of the soft plastics that it's mind-boggling. And a lot of times it's kind of a good idea to match up the soft plastics that you're using with the kind of feed that are fishing, uh, that the fish are feeding on in the lake. So for example, like something like this might imitate a shining, a shiner. It's just a soft plastic that I put on a pretty good sized jig so you could see it easily. And then uh, this would just be jigged and it looks like a lot like the uh, shiners that a lot of the lakes have. Shiners are one of our main forage uh, fish for walleyes, pike, etc. And then uh, this is a, a perch imitation. It's another soft plastic, it's a paddle tail. So it got, it's got a lot of action in the water and I matched up with a jig that kind of matches the color of the uh, actual uh, soft plastic so that it looks like one piece to the fish when they come in and grab it. It looks just like one fish, one, fi one piece. There's just an unbelievable selection of different soft plastics on the market. And a lot of these, you don't know if they work or not until you try them. And what I like to do, I like, just like to experiment with colors and see what works and what doesn't work. And Mandy's going to talk a little bit about some of the things she uses. Giving you all the secrets tonight. So these are my go-to soft plastics for bass fishing. If you look at all of these, you're gonna see that they all have something in common. They all look like the crayfish. So not a lot of people understand that crayfish not only is a main staple for the bass's diet, also happens to be one of their favorites. So there's a ton of different baits here. They have all different shapes and colors, but here again, they're imitating crayfish specifically. They can be thrown on a small jig, they can be Texas rigged, they can be a trailer on a larger bass rig, or they can be put on the back end of a swim bait. Mix it up with the color, light and bright, dark and dark is actually a good way to go when choosing these colors and keep them in a natural selection. Now we know your secrets. <laughs> I gave it all away. <laughs> For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. Can't believe that next week's are going to be our last fishing tips with Ray and Mandy. Boy, they yeah. do a good job. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.